This is a, a conservation of momentum in two dimensions question for grade 12 physics class. We have two objects, each with six kilograms. One, the first object A is moving three meters per second towards object B, which is stationary. Object A moves off in a direction 40 degrees to its original position. Object B goes 50 degrees relative to A's original direction. Uh, the fact that they add up to 90 degrees is just coincidence. It's not important for other problems. And we need to figure out the magnitude of object A after the collision, the magnitude of the velocity of object B after the collision. So there's a lot of math for this one. We'll start kind of the way we've always started, set up our relationships for what happens in the x direction, set up our relationships for what happens in the y direction, and we'll end up with a system of equations with two variables and two unknowns so we can work through it. Like, like I said, it's just a little bit of math intensive. So initially, in the x direction, object A has a velocity of 3 meters per second. So that's essentially all of our momentum. Object B in the x is going 0 because it's not moving. After the collision, object A's x component, we don't know. We don't have any information that we don't have a number. We do have the angle. So we're going to incorporate the angle by remembering that it's the magnitude after the collision, cosine the angle. That'll come into play after. Object B, after the collision, x direction, is its magnitude, cosine 50, its angle. So conservation of momentum formula, sum of momentum before equals the sum of momentum after. So object A's momentum plus object B's momentum put my components in there, mass A, BAX, plus MB, BBX, equals MA, BAX, after the collision, plus MB, BBX, after the collision. All of the masses are equal. very important. It makes things a little bit easier. So they all divide out. So every single M can be crossed off and divided out. So essentially we're just adding our velocities together. So the sum of the velocities before has to equal the sum of the velocities after the collision. So putting your numbers in, velocity object A is going 3, that is to equal A's X component after the collision plus B's X component after the collision. Now here's where we do our substitution, our first little substitution to incorporate the magnitude and the angle. This is one equation with two unknowns. In the Y direction, I'm going to end up with another equation with two more unknowns. So in all, I'll have two equations, four unknown variables, which is just not mathematically good to solve. So by substituting and incorporating the angles, I'll end up with only uh, two unknown variables in the entire problem. So 3.0 equals VA after the collision cosine 40 plus VB after the collision cosine 50. There's still two variables here in one equation, but when I set up the Y direction, I'll have the same two variables. So I'll have two equations and two unknown variables. So y direction, VAY is 0, VBY is 0, VAY after the collision is its magnitude, which we're looking for, sine 40. BY after the collision is its magnitude at sine 50. Now I'm just going to make a quick change before I forget. If the object's velocity or component is down, down is going to be negative in our problem. So we have to incorporate the negative direction by making it a negative. Okay. So the magnitudes are always positive, so to incorporate the direction that this ball is going, we make the BY after the collision negative. Okay. Saving a little bit of time, 
I'm going to write down my conservation of momentum, but remember the mass is divided out, so it's just the sum of the velocities before have to equal the sum of the velocity components afterwards. So on the left it's zero, and on the right it'll be VA prime sine 40, so I'm doing my substitution step to save a little bit of time, added to the negative VB prime sine 50. So now we do have two equations and two unknown variables. I'll summarize those down here. The first equation, 3 equals VA prime cosine, not sine, cos 40 plus VB prime uh, sine 50. Remember, the word prime just means after the collision. Don't confuse it with your math. And then the y direction, B A prime sine 40 and minus V B prime sine 50. So we've got two equations. So I'm going to solve for V B prime in equation two. I'm just picking equation two because it's easier to work with with the zero. Picking a variable to solve for, I'm going to solve for V B prime. So starting with that equation, uh, rearranging it, save a little bit of time, VB prime sine 50 equals VA prime sine 40. Divide both sides by sine 50. And work out what the actual signs evaluate to, to the right less, 0 0.8391 VA prime. So I divided both sides by sine 50, and then actually did sine 40 divided by sine 50 and got 0.8391. So that's going to go into equation 1. So equation 1 is 3 equals da prime cos 40 plus vb prime cos 50. Now I do my substitution. So 3 equals VA prime cos 40 plus 0 0.8391 VA prime. And remember, that's my substitution step. I still have a cos 50 out here. Okay. Evaluating the signs, making the numbers a little easier to, to visualize. 0.766 DA prime plus 0 0.5394 VA prime. Uh, rearranging and solving for VA prime. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one of those steps, but double check. You should get 2.2 meters per second VA prime. Okay. Going to put that back into equation 2. VB prime equals 0 0.8391 VA prime. 0 0.8391 times 2.2 comes out to be 1.9 meters per second. So we're done. We got the magnitudes. Like I said, a lot of math, but solvable. Just have to be very careful with your numbers. So VA prime summary equals 2.2 meters per second, and object B goes down at that angle 50 degrees at 1.9 meters per second.